I mean, when you look at this game, what was the biggest difference maker, especially when you look at the first half versus the second half? Uh, I'd say we bring in the energy, being locked in. Uh, we felt like this game was a, a details game. Um, can't never underestimate opponents. Like I said, they're all pros. Uh, they're a really good young team. And I feel like the second half, we're locked in on the defensive end. Uh, we can get all the buggers in the world, but we can't get stops, man. Like you see, the first half, they had a 19-point lead, which is crazy. What was working so well for Detroit in that first half was the offensive rebounds, getting inside the paint, and knocking down the threes? The offensive rebounding, <laughs> that was, that's, that's been one of our biggest keys, uh, rebounding. Um, and in a couple of slips, we were getting a little confused on the slips, letting them get free. Uh, but we wanted to be more aggressive second half. What is it like to see Katie go off like that in that third quarter? 26, which was the most points he's ever had in his NBA career in any quarter. <laughs> man, them two guys, they're special, man. Like, you never know what, what else they're going to do. Like, you, like, what more can they do? And they show you they can do more. At his age, man, he's a special guy. Uh, he amazes me every time. And for you, you told me you're from Detroit. You told me that several times before. What was it just know, like knowing that you have family and friends in the building? Oh, this is amazing, man. This is a great feeling. Uh, me coming down day early, getting to spend time with my family, knowing there's 30 some people out there waiting for me right now, man. I, I love, I love it, man. It was great to be out there playing and stuff like that. Even better, we got the win. We know that Kevin's capable of doing things like this, but <laughs> at this point, does it? still surprise you when he does when it's in the moment <laughs> and you're watching these streams man it's, i wouldn't say surprising but it's just like man this guy is on another level like it's kind of like one of those but like you said we didn't see this year after year after year after year so nothing really surprises us. but man it's like he just keeps taking it up and not like he's not slowing down at all this is the second game for you guys that you had to fight back from being down by double figures. What is it showing the resiliency of how you guys are able to kind of stay poised and, you know, take it game by game, quarter by quarter? Like you said, game by game. Uh, we definitely don't want to be down 19 or 17 and a half. But, I mean, like you said, stuff happens. Uh, game's not over. Like you said, we have a whole other half come in, lock in as a group and just come out better the second half. Uh, like you said, resiliency, uh, you're going to have some ups and downs throughout the NBA season. Every game is not going to be perfect. Uh, so for guys to, to stay together, come out second half and pull out performance like that, I mean, that says a lot. And for Claxton to get that block, we saw six in Toronto, but that big-time block right at the end of it. What have you seen from his game that's allowed him to be such a great rim protector? Man, Clax is huge for us. Uh, we know he got he's down there. We can be aggressive on the ball. Man, overall, he's our best defender, uh, I feel like. From him being able to switch, from him being able to protect the rim, he does so much for us. Uh, Clax is definitely appreciated on this team. And to win six games straight, when you hear that from what this team has gone through, what is just so special about what you guys have, are doing right now? Uh, I feel like we kind of always knew we were capable of. Had a slow start, I would say. It wasn't the end of the world for us, end of the world for everyone else. <laughs> but, I mean, this is great. I mean, we want to keep building. Like you said, we got goals. So, I mean, winning six straight is great, but we still we got bigger goals that we want to, you know, achieve.